IQ of 115, 110 to 115, so that's 85th to 73rd to 85th percentile. Copywriter, accountant, manager, sales manager, sales analyst, general manager, purchasing agent, registered nurse, sales account executive. Uh, if you look at universities, the smartest people are, they're above this. Who are the smartest people at university? What do you think? Mathematicians, physicists and mathematicians, right, right. I could tell you who's on the other end, but I won't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like to though. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, okay. Going down the, now 103 to 108 is slightly above average, right? 60th to 70th percentile. Store manager, bookkeeper, credit clerk, lab tester, general sales, telephone sales, accounting clerk, computer operator, customer service rep, technician, clerk, typist. So you see at this level, people, are, people have some technical skill and some ability to deal with complex things. Okay, that's dead average. 100 is average. Dispatcher in a general office, police patrol officer. Receptionist, cashier, general clerical, inside sales clerk, meter reader, printer, teller, data entry, electrical helper. 95th to 98. Machinist, food department manager, quality control checker, security guard, unskilled labor, maintenance, arc welder, die setter, mechanic. Good, good IQ range for relatively qualified tradespeople. 87 to 93. Messenger, Factory production worker, assembler, food service worker, nurse's aide, warehouseman, custodian, janitor, material handler, packer. Now, what you're seeing, what you're starting to see is that as you move down the hierarchy, the jobs get simpler, they're more likely to be assigned by other people, or they're repetitive. Because what IQ predicts to some degree is how rapidly you can learn something, but once you've learned it, it doesn't predict how necessarily how well you do at it. And so, the more repetitive jobs tend People with lower IQs are more suited to more repetitive jobs. Under 87, is there something? Well, no. Right. That's a big problem. And it's something our society has not addressed at all. Jobs for people with IQs of less than 85 are very, very rare. So what the hell are those supposed, people supposed to do? It's like one, it's 15% of the population. What are they supposed to do? Well, we better figure it out, because one of the things that's happening too is that as the, as the high IQ tech geeks get a hold of the world, the demand for cognitive power is increasing, not decreasing, right? You want to be a teller? Well, you know, those checkout machines, they're not so simple. You want to work at McDonald's? You think that's a simple job? You don't see robots working at McDonald's. And the reason for that is that what McDonald's workers do is too complex for, for robots to do.